Welcome back! My biggest concern is the Raid King carry and how he'll match up in the lane. Besides that, I love their draft and I think it's stronger. So he's just going all in on damage. Like they want to get some kills. Orb of Corrosion is ready. And they want to go after Jackie. They've got the first dive coming through. Now Masaros is in a lot of trouble running the other way. He was the one playing the aggressive style on that. Trying to get out of the hands of these little uh, jabs skeletons. Dead. And now it's the Jabs who gives up first blood. Uh, four Roman Gods is good, don't get me wrong, especially when the skeletons are spawned. That uh, Jackie, he, he seems pretty bad. Yeah, playing it up front, pretty close to the tower, ends up dropping at Jabs. Nosaros will be traded by Zephyr. We'll see how important the ancient seal becomes for Jabs, too. Looks like there's a couple targets that he wants to go to as DJ drops bottom, but rotation from Jabs and Moon coming in with Raven. Trying to trade, yeah, maybe one and look for a second on Cuckoo. Oh, that's a nice time stun. Balance Strike comes through, stops the Rolling Thunder for just a second. Jackie has come towards the bottom lane, throws a Fire Blast into the Monkey King. Moon looking for the Wukong, stops it, and holds it. Carl's in, and he drops the Dream Coil onto the Skywrath. Waning Rift silences him up, jabs on the run. Masaros is here. Carl needs to find a way out, but the Boundless Strike, that's going to land. They have the duel. Do they have the damage? That's the, kill the first damage. Do. All right, so we see nine people nine minutes in at the Tier 1 Tower at the bottom. This item. It got buffed in the previous patch. I still feel it's well, really not that great. Mid lane. In trouble. Dropping a Cuckoo. Dreamful gets committed for the five position Elder Titan, so that bit of their team fight expended just for the Elder Titan. Now the rotation's coming in from Fnatic, but Jab's already sitting low. They've got the Wukong Smag. Carl will drop here. Sunray is not going to be on top of him to save him, and it's really not doing much to Moon, who sits back in the Wukongs, but they still have four heroes right by the tower ready to go. They drop the Supernova, they have the Rolling Thunder, hitting onto Moon just once. Now that the Supernova is used, Fnatic, they're probably going to want to chase ready. this. They've got the Balance Strike. They'll hit the Wraith King, find themselves Cuckoo. Great sweep, hitting onto the Pangolier. That sets up the duel. Earth Splitter flies in, and it's enough. Now we're going to deal as much damage as possible. Might be able to find Jackie. They spot this Wraith King, and there's the duel. And stick Flare right on top of him. Winner, winner, chicken dinner now with 50 dual damage. They drop down the Wukongs. They try to kill off Jackie a second time and are successful in it. As Cuckoo just a little bit late. Got the damage and once he respawns, like there is no real counterplay. Right now, Fnatic uh, feels really, really strong. Keep fighting with Io. I like what I see. The item build, jabs. In trouble, Sunray on wow. top of him. He'll burn Deleted. out. Elder Titan looking next. Supernova on the back lines of this. Moon hits the balance strike onto Carl. They're trying to get the kill into the puck, but they just don't have the control for the moment. They get the kill into Zephyr. They're going to take out one. They already have Wraith King out of the fight. Cuckoo trying to man fight as he'll finish off Raven, losing his Duel life to Bizarros, but now they've got Duel again, but the victory is there for Whitemon. Thanks for the 20 damage. Moon will still chase. Try to kill this Enchantress, finishes him off with the Balanced Strike, and now it's Carl v. Moon on a 1v1, although Jackie might have something to say about this. Influence of the Raid King, like his power in this game. Mm -hmm. He's involved in only one kill, and that's the kill from the laning stage. Stun oh, this out. is a good target to eliminate. Anamasaros, they'll try to get the Legion Commander, and I think once they saw that, they started to back off on Fnatic, except for Moon. Taking some right clicks, gets low, just able to TP out. Legion Order Commander up. really needs to be careful about uh, positioning, because if they take him out as the first target, there is no attack speed for the egg. You know, I'll bless this team with uh, casual double damage on Raid King. Makes this way easier. Boundless Strike, Whiteman getting blown up. They'll go for the Supernova, and well, now they have to retreat. Let's see if Fnatic go in for this. They've got the duel, they'll drop the Mystic Flare right down on a Cuckoo. They get the kill into the Pangolier, the Icarus dive away. Carl and Jackie trying to fight the Legion Commander. They've got the silence with the Waning Rift. They'll finish off Masaros. But now Jackie, is he in a bad position? The double damage is about to they run out. He might lose his first life. Killing off DJ. The damage is too much with the BKB being popped by Moon. They'll go for the second one. They have the silence. Do they have the damage? Carl hitting away, but just not doing enough to save this Wraith King. 
Dream Core replaced. Down rolling that are coming in from Cuckoo, who bought back. They'll snap it. Raven keeping Moon at a decent level of health. And now they'll try to turn. They've disarmed Raven. Sunray right on top of the two of them. Moon burning down low. Impetus shots coming in. White Mon takes him out. <laughs> Just, you know, have way of uh, pushing enemies away from you. And the, the cast range is really nice. Also, the extra and Swashbuckle coming through. Balance Strike on a Cuckoo. Moon taking a lot of damage. He pops the BKB. They have the suit coming in. Now the duel, but the Legion Commander will come back. He's going to lose that one. Yeah, Jackie's got himself some damage. They've got the Supernova. That pops. And now the Dream Core to follow it up. This fight going pretty well for T1 for the moment. But can they clean up? DJ chasing White Mon. Got the tether from Raven to Moon. And Carl trying to jump back in. And now lose Reorb out. Just a. One for one. Now Monkey strike. King is back in. Lightman getting low. The spirits just do it on the long range. There's the wing forward. Jackie with stun. Moon in trouble. Sunray on him. They'll take out Moon. Now he buys back. Roche getting low. Can they snag this Aegis away? Jackie snatches he gets the it. Aegis. That's because Radiant get the kill. The Icarus dive over. They take out Jabs. T1. Come out with an Aegis, and now they're going to find their hands around the neck of DJ. Try to get this kill, but the Elder Titan just too fast for Jackie. Brillo out. This is why I said that they need to reset their BKB timings. That this might Ooh, be the, the game the losing moment. Big victory. Jackie jumps in. He wants to go for Misaros, but the suit from DJ. They couldn't kill him earlier, and now he's impactful in this little engagement. Reincarnation not been five, but not. Fast enough, wow. Okay, Just so with this behind. move, they're back in the game. And take out the Aegis, take him out a second time. They've got the Yules, Cuckoo jumping forward with the balance strike, gets Zephyr. They want Cuckoo, who rolling Thunder away with BKB being popped by Moon. He was able to take out the Phoenix. They were looking for a White Mon. You know why? Because he does not have 440 build. He's got Max out in the uh, natural order. Yeah. It's a good ability. BKB popped by Moon. They're still chasing. Goes into the Wukong's command. Supernova committed to this, and they take out Moon. They bring Ooh, a lot two of these heroes down bottom. They don't have too many spells that they can remove the Lincolns with. Like, there's dual. Oh, no BKB. Forward. And silence onto the Legion commander with Wayne Rift. They have the kill. They have the Dream Coil. Kill off jabs. Take out a second. Earth Splitter flies in. Swashbuckle looking over towards DJ. Make it a third wow, make fanatic. It a, make it a chain feed. 40 minutes in. Any shard that you think is of value in this game? Ooh, all that thought. They're going to find themselves. DJ Duel comes through onto, the, onto this Pangolier. They kill off Cuckoo. White Mon and Jackie are looking like they're retreating. Although Jackie turns on Raven for a second. Throws one right There's click. The There's a fire blast onto Moon. They fought back on Cuckoo. White Mon moving forward. Carl's here. Let's see what he can do with this. The Supernova right on top of Masaros. That pops and the Dream Coil comes down onto Raven. Jackie with the Wraith Fire Blast. That hits onto the Monkey King once again. They're looking for the Rolling Thunder coming in from Cuckoo, but Jackie getting low, losing that first life as the Wukong's command is right on top of him. He's going to be in trouble once again. Pops the BKB. He's on the run. Moon trying to chase. He's got the Jingle with the Waning Rifting onto the IO as well as the Monkey King. Now they're right on top of Raven. Boundless Strike hits the back lines, gets onto Carl. White Mon throwing some of his shots over, but that's just not enough damage. Sunray to try and save Cuckoo, who bought back. He's going to be dead for 104 seconds. Silence onto the Monkey King. Moon trying to run. He's tethered oh, up that on region. Raven. And now Jackie and Zephyr, they get close. They'll take out White Man, Mon. Look towards the rest. Zephyr Woo! gets hit with the spirits. He's out of this one for 79. A blink towards the base. Jesus the side, Christ, and man. Skate. Question is, can T1 defend? Are they willing to use that buyback? Are they trying to hold it? Will they give up one tier three? Maybe a set of racks. White Mon in some trouble. Blinking deep. Looking for this duel. He'll get it. Loses his life afterwards. And now the buyback comes out from Carl, though. Dream Quote would be dropped down. They get the kill into Zephyr. They'll lose DJ. Buyback's all over the place with the Wukong's command being placed by Moon. Going after Jackie Solo. Arm with Toggle to survive to and walk away. They Carl need to kills back off. off jabs. Lincolns gets popped. The balance strikes in. Ooh, just jaunts over. So they lost the three heroes. Jackie. Legion Commander bought back. Is They're still chasing. Forward? They've got the silence, and they'll take out his first life. 
They don't have Wukong to place right on top of him. Saros doesn't have a duel for 13 seconds. The BKB be popped by Moon. Sunray from Zephyr right on top of the Wraith King. They back up past the tier 3 tower, but Moon almost seemingly not scared to go past the tier 3 and in between the tier 4s. Just like we saw Masaros do a second ago. And they go back a bit, reset the full HP. There's still Cheese and Aegis. Monkey, Jingle Warriors around them. It's very hard to initiate on them. Raven, Moon, Luzuri Orb right on top. And there's the blink forward. Going Jeez, with the Wraith is available blast. if needed. Do they have the damage? It does not look like it's so. Duel on a White Mon. Another winner there for Fnatic. They'll look over it. Jackie, they'll take him out. He does have buyback. Carl on the run. This is not looking good for T1. This is it. They only have one more fight. If they lose this fight, the game just ends. So let's see what they can do with this. Smoke up from T1. Waning Rift, Illusory Orb coming from the back, looking over towards the Elder Titan. DJ for the Balance Strike. That hits on a Jackie. He's getting bashed away. That first life is already out of his hands. He'll come back alive. Pangolin with the Swashbuckle out. They've got the Wukong's Command as well as the Duel right on top of the Wraith King. He gets low. Jackie will fall. Another winner there for the Legion Commander. That's they it. Take That's out the game. The puck, and that will be it. Fnatic coming back from a, a bit of a deficit up to about 10k. And they find themselves with game one in their hands. Well, those are the drafts. Those are the heroes. These are your picks. And which one are we favoring this time around? He's doing a really good job farming. And we talked about how that's his job. Although up in top, the Underworld in trouble. Most likely giving up first blood. There it is for Jackie. You got three heroes with Zephyr and Radiance. Just give him time to get that farm online. As Cuckoo in some trouble. DJ and Raven, they'll combine for the kill. That's a good one to push him even closer to that Midas. It's a slow lineup, as I already stated, for yeah. Fnatic. So there are Dream okay, coil. you know, just uh, being here, Shift getting a kill. kill here and there if possible. You will take a fight. Uh, I, I like what Black said during the panel that mm -hmm. the Nagasarin doesn't really fit into these Ooh, like move. aura lineups. He's looking like he might drop. The damage is there. He moves to the top lane, starts to pressure the tower. All right, Enigma. Jab's in trouble. Straight up deleted. Jab's deleted off the map. Finger comes in. White Mon gets the kill. He grabs the stack. They'll go after Raven. This is an important one to try and get. But if it turns around, it could be really detrimental to the rest of the game. They're trying to drain that mana, get the kill on a Raven. He's got nothing to get that reincarnation off anymore. Dream Coil down out of the Venge as well as the Mirana with Masaras just hidden away when this, this Undying. They'll take out Carl. They'll look for Zephyr. He's no longer silenced. He gets a lead, but is it far oh, enough? The, the cast range. And the last shot coming in from Moon, capping that one off. Uh, Ags was picked up by the Venge. Scotty being built there for the Naga. And it's Rod of Atos for the Underlord. The chase is on for Moon, but they won't be able to catch up to him. I like that Rod of Atos. We were seeing a lot of that when Underworld was a little bit more popular in the previous patch, going to the Pit of Malice with the Rod of Atos, but they'll try to get a kill here on Amasaros. They have the Hex, they'll throw the finger, the damage being done. Black, Black hole. hole comes in onto the vent, she but the arrow that. stops it. Carl, he'll end up dead. Jabs and Masaros do end up dropping Dream Coil here onto the Naga as well as the Marana, but they have the swap. They pull back the Wraith King and they get the first life. However, Zephyr going down to Moon. They're looking over at White Mon. He's sitting low. So is Cuckoo. Net onto this oh, Wraith King. Crit. Oh, God, the right clicks coming in from Raven. Now finally a song. Once four heroes are dead. Can they chase? They need to chase this illusion because Vengeful Spirit will... You know, be ready and up in 15 seconds. See if that pays off, waiting on that shard. But he could hold the gold and then eventually go for it if he feels it's a necessity. Big black hole black on hole. the two. Arrow coming in. It hits the Wraith King, so the black hole continues. They've got the Pit of Malice with the Midnight Pulse down. Both the Venge as well as the Beastmaster are going to die here. The Finger Thorn for the Ogre. They finally get the kill on the DJ. They look over at Zephyr with Naga coming in, taking out Jabs, but the Dream Coil is committed. They've got the Silence on the Naga Siren. who's trying to ring around those tree, but they kill off Zephyr. The stun comes in from White Mon. Jackie on the run. Not sure he gets out of this, though. They have the Pit of Malice. Pops the Manta. Right clicks in. He's rooted up. Killed off. Take out the Naga. Four for two in the favor of Fnatic. Why not? So posture here towards Roche with the smoke. 
of T1. I think they're looking for an opportunity to take a fight. They go into the high ground. The smoke ends up breaking the pit masses down to the Beastmaster as well as the line. They use the Rod of Atos. Threw on the line. Oh, White Mon, he's in trouble. White Mon dead immediately. And now the Dream Coil is down onto the Naga Siren. They're going to need to save, try and do something. The right clicks are in. They use the swap, but it stuns up the Naga. The Primal Roar is used on to this Wraith King, who will lose that first life. Pit of Mouse, the root is out. On to Zephyr. With the Blink Stun coming through from Raven, they will take his life. Double kill for Raven, and this fight happens next to Roche. There. Now, now have the, the short queued up on the Wraith King. I think that's just giving oh, him a lot Hex more. Oh, him. Yeah, they'll find themselves the puck. They'll throw out the stun. They have the finger. They'll kill off Moon. He doesn't have buyback dead for 90. Glyph is pop. You have mid pushed in. You have bottom pushed in. How will they try to defend this for T1? Let the first set of racks go. They've got a refresher on the Beastmaster. I think he just wants Ooh, to have nice one Lotus. extra for Enigma's Lincoln Sphere. Arrow for Staff. They've got the stun. They're looking for the Pit of Malice. Can they get the first life out of his hands? Yes, they can. So that's just the reincarnation. They have 40 seconds to work with. They get the kill on the white one. They look over at Carl. They'll finish the Venge off. Take out two. They both have buyback. They bump back on white mom. Will they buy back on the Venge? There's the Abyssal coming through. The stun onto the underworld There's as the well as the hole. finger. They get the kill on the black hole. He's onto the Naga as well as the Beastmaster. They just don't have the damage finish off the Naga just yet. However, they kill off Cuckoo. They take the Beastmaster out of the fight, and he bought out on that Refresher Orb, so he doesn't have buyback dead for 73 seconds. They've got the sound out of the bench as well as the Lion. They look over at White Mon. Now, with the song, they'll reset, but what do you have in this reset? Arrow comes in. That'll hit onto this Puck, but do they have anything else? Raven starts to come forward. The right clicks are in. They get the kill to Carl. They'll end up losing Moon. He's got buyback. Naga getting low. The right clicks from Raven. Will it be enough? He gets under the Tier 4 tower. They've got the stun. They'll get the kill, and he'll buy back immediately, but Zephyr's been caught, and he's been killed. Off. I believe that's it. They lost pretty much everyone. They're knocking on your tier fours now, hitting the throne, and the double G's are dropped. So, yeah, pretty nice uh, showing from Fnatic. T1 yeah. with the lineup that uh, needed to do more early on.